So we're back. It's Linda Pinazzato on Hayes FM. I'm a condo expert. I was talking about recycling and food waste. You know, there's an awful lot of companies out there that provide different bags and so on for food waste. And unfortunately, some of the brand new buildings, they may have that third tri sector that would actually, you know, break off the difference between your trash, your food waste, and the third item would be your recycling. But the older buildings don't even have the recycling. And, you know, I think it would be quite hard to impose that because it would be awfully expensive to upgrade the building and change their entire shoot and figure out how they're going to put three different trisectors in there. That one I'd have to leave with the experts. But moving forward, uh, they're glad was wonderful. Clorox Canada, who of course own the GLAD trademark, they came out with a number of different styles of trash bags. And they have one in particular that is now for food waste. And it's actually biodegradable as well. And what happened was, is Clorox actually also got involved with us at the National Home Show. And they provided boxes and boxes of free samples so that we could hand them out to the public and educate them on the importance of using these bags. And especially, you know, when they're living in condominiums, they fight trash odors, the the biodegradable part of it helps any types of household composting. And when they recycle them and they, without a doubt, reduce waste measures within the building, therefore, you know, coming back to, again, the maintenance fees. Don't forget, everything that happens in a building, you know, it's like taking a house and multiplying it 300 times in a condo building. So if you have one set of bills for the month for a house, just take all of it and just multiply it. (laughs) That's it. And so that's why most of these condominiums, I mean, they have budgets of $1.5 million thereabouts. And if they can find different initiatives that would actually help them to preserve some of that spending and certainly, you know, waste disposal and not tapping into their piping system so poorly. I know that there's a number of buildings, believe it or not, that a lot of the owners don't even realize, but their pipes in their condo units are actually owned by the unit owner and not by the corporation. So, you know, having talked about these recycling programs, I think that, you know, after the show, all of you listeners that own condominiums, you really need to take the time to take a look at your condo documents and or send an email to your property management office and find out exactly what it is that you own. Because interesting enough, while you're not recycling your food waste and you're taking your food waste and shoving it down your sink drains, you may very well be damaging something that you could be held responsible for. So isn't that a twist of fate? But it is the way it is. And, you know, accountability is is extremely important. This is something that can't be overlooked. So on a positive note, we need to get, you know, it's funny because we go back to the same thing. You know, I want to elaborate. The condo expert is about providing information, good, bad, and ugly. And, you know, it's it makes it so much easier. This show makes it so incredibly easy for you as the general public to obtain information on a one-on-one circumstances. You can listen in, you'll learn it, pass it on to your friends and family. And, you know, education is powerful. It's ridiculously powerful. And we always should continue learning no matter what age we're at. You know, the, the more you learn, the more knowledge you have and never turn that away. So on a positive note, did you know that, you know, a lot of the condominium buildings right now, I noticed that we've gotten a few emails because it seems like now that people are learning more, they're feeling happier and it seems to be driving somewhat more communication amongst people within their building. Because in the last two weeks, we have received emails now inviting us to attend social meetings. So they're actually having social committees. 
So there's a number of buildings now where people have actually gotten together and they've created social committees. I think it's awesome. I mean, we were totally, when the first email came in, it was like, oh, well, that's nice. I mean, I think it's great. I mean, they should be doing that. We have it in our building all the time and certainly at special times of the year. So I didn't really pay a lot of attention. I thought it was great. But next thing you know, the second one came in and third one or seven and eight and 10 and 12. And now I'm completely blown away. And maybe it's the summer spirit. I'm talking about barbecues. I have to admit, there was one that talked about a potluck. Um, that kind of surprised me. I'm not sure if that one's actually going to take off. I find it hard to believe that that we're at the point where we're going to have potluck social committee parties in the condominium building. But hey, you know what? If it works, fantastic. Maybe it's food for thought for others out there. But, you know, I think if people can do things, it is summertime. I mean, it's a great time. I know that there's another condominium actually right by square one. And what they do is they get together and they have walks every Saturday morning. They literally, the, the condominium, they have a social committee. They Anyone that comes out, they walk over to square one and they literally walk around the mall. And they walk around the mall as a community. <laughs> I think it's it's awesome. And there's another one actually over by Central Parkway. And what they do is they have a creative playground outside. So what they've done is they've now arranged for a creative playground type of party for the residents or the you know people living in the building, the residents and the owners who have children. And I would have thought that it was only geared to people with children, but the organizer actually doesn't even have children. So there you go. And I know that the Mississauga Valley Community Center, I mean, they've always got something going on. So I think that what we're going to do is move forward in and try to create a page on COA Ontario or maybe COA Mississauga, which is going to be launching in about two and a half to three weeks. And if any of these buildings, if you've got social things going on and you want to make them public, you know, and you feel that it's a good idea to have it on our sites, by all means, let us know. Just again, email info at coaontario.com. You know, the Hayes FM is a, a fantastic radio station. I am absolutely thrilled and honored to have my show, The Condo Expert, on this radio station because it is the number one radio station here in Mississauga. And they take every possible initiative to let not only provide you with fantastic music, but to open up the doors to tremendous guests and updates on anything that's happening within the city. And, you know, they're stepping forward and aligning and opening up connections with a series of a ton of other radio stations across the province. So I think, hey, you know, power of the media and power of the radio station, this is the best way to get the word out on anything. So if you've got a condo issue or if you got a condo praise, Maybe that's another thought. If we were to start a competition and ask condo owners, if they, condo owners, not boards, if we could ask condo owners, if they could provide us with a, an overview of their property management and their property manager, okay, and we had a property manager competition per se, how many responses would we get? And is it something that we should think about? I think that whenever you have competitions of something and people get involved, I know that they have, you know, they always have it on, you know, the best mom and the citizen of the year and, you know, recognitions of, of, of achievements and so on. Maybe that's something to think about. It will actually put a positive flair on the condominium world. I think we're almost due for it. I think that as people understand and recognize the problems, the idea is to take the problems change them and make things better. And when that all happens, then you can look at all the positive things that are going on. I mean, heck, it's still home ownership. Stop for a moment. You own a property. You got to feel happy about it. Now all you have to do is protect it. That's it. You're listening to Linda Pinizzato here at the Hayes FM. I will be right back. Linda Pinizzato, whether it's a house, townhome, or condo, when you're ready, she's your negotiator. With 34 years of experience, Linda guarantees that you have the real estate knowledge you need to make the right decisions. Call Linda Pinizzato at Sutton Group Quantum Realty, 
561-7373 or visit her at lindapinizato.com. And thank you so much for joining me. You know, today has been just a fascinating time of learning so much of what's going on out there. And that's what the condo expert is all about. I'll hit so many different issues. You'll notice them on iTunes and on podcast. Reporting here from the Hayes FN, you have been listening to Linda Pinizzato of the condo expert. Now, also, remember, register yourself. If you're a condo owner or a condo buyer, register at www.coaontario.com. And also, if you've got questions, whether they're real estate related or condominium or property values, this and that, you know, I wouldn't have the uh, information I have had I not had the experience that I've received. And I certainly wouldn't have been able to start the Condo Owners Association without having this kind of a background. So contact me at Linda. Pinizzato, P-I-N-I-Z-Z-O-T-T-O at C-O-A-Ontario.com or Linda at LindaPenizzato.com. Until the next time, have a fantastic day and thank you so much for tuning in.